Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. If you don't know what it is that I do, where have you been? Where have you been? This is uh, Magic Orthodoxy. This is my platform. I get to use it to elevate the voices of other magicians, content creators, magic warehouses, so that I can pull back the curtain, open the box, and tell you exactly what's inside the latest and the greatest magic tricks just now hitting the shelves. Case in point, today we're gonna to look at Imaginary Hole from Yu Shang, Penguin Magic. What is Imaginary Hole? Imaginary Hole is uh, one of those moving hole tricks, but a moving hole trick like you ain't never seen. <laughs> uh, you have a card and you take a Sharpie marker and you draw a black hole in it, right? Or a, a dot, really. And you show them, like it's a, it's a dot, a legit dot. But then as you hold it, you're able to wave your hand behind it and then magically it becomes a hole. You'll even prove it's a hole. You'll throw the Sharpie marker up and down through it. And then with just a wave, the hole shrinks to a tiny hole and they can still see your hand behind it. And then with another wave, it completely vanishes. The hole is completely gone. You can even turn it over. There's no hole seen from the other side either. It's a miracle. It's an imaginary hole. All right, so let's say you pay $40 to penguinmagic.com. What are you gonna get? Uh, it all comes in a little hard shelled envelope, a little folder, right? Uh, you're gonna get the gimmick, of course. The gimmick does all the work for you. And you'll get a 22 minute explanation. Is it what I thought? Uh, kind of, I mean similar. You've seen moving hole effects like this before and they use this same technology, right? But there's a little added twist in there. And I think the added twist to this is the card starts and ends solid. Most moving holes, uh, there's already a hole in it somewhere, right? You kind of like mimic punching a hole with a, you know, a hole punch or your fingers are over the hole to begin with, but then you reveal it. But this card really does start solid and end solid. So I think that's the added thing with imaginary hole, right? And just the fact that you can show the black dot there early on and then put your hand behind it and you can see that it's not not a hole, but then it becomes a hole. So I think there's a lot of really cool phases in this. So I didn't really, didn't quite know what it could be. Um, it is well made, very well made. I would not want to build this myself, right? Very glad it comes pre-built and uh, it should last you. Uh, overall quality and production value of the video. Like I said, it's only 22 minutes long. Penguin Magic does uh, good videos though. As far as what they teach you, there are several live performances. The tutorial starts about five minutes in with David Newell. Talks about how to do the trick uh, using your shirt, and then he talks to you about how to do it using your phone, okay? So you can do it one of two ways. And then there's even a third presentation that you can do with a stack of business cards. And then a second teacher, Cash, he comes in to teach you how to make the whole jump and how to do the jumping hole effect. Pocket space, it's only the single card right? So it all depends on how you want to do it. You want to bring it out just as a single card and say, hey, watch this anomaly, or you want to bring it you know, out, of a, out of a deck. I would say, you know, if you're going to keep this in a deck, probably just remove your jokers and your extra cards and you should be okay. Um, angles, angles. This is thicker than a single card, right? So it has some dimension to it. Uh, dimension all around, front and back. So shadow, Shadow and dimension are something that you'll need to consider as far as how far away you are from your spectator and lighting. Can it be inspected? No, it cannot, right? It's a, it's a gimmicked card. So you're either gonna have to do a very convincing switch or just move on to the next effect. Set up and reset, the card does all the work for you. It does all the work for you, but that isn't to say that it doesn't require practice. There is some special movement that you have to do with the card, some, some things you have to get familiar with Okay, this, this trick definitely is uh, something unique in and to itself. So uh, you'll have to spend some time making it look smooth. Okay, it can't look jerky like you're doing something, right? So 
uh, I think the best practice will be in a mirror and being able to convince yourself, right? Convince yourself. Everything needs to look fluid. Even though you're going to figure out the gimmick right away and you're going to be like, oh, I get it, your temptation is going to be to run out and show it right away. I would fight that temptation, all right? Perform it in the mirror and don't just say, ah, it looks okay. It needs to look clean and effortless, okay? So please practice before you show this to anyone. Positives. Uh, I love tricks like this. They're very visual, very striking, right? And certainly creative. This is not the standard pick a card, find a card, card trick, right? This is a trick that uses a card. This, this object could be anything, right? It could be anything. But you're doing it on a card, which is the familiar item, but uh, definitely, definitely not a card trick, right? So if you're the kind of person that likes to do uh, impossible looking magic, I think this is great for walk around, great for street magic. Negatives, of course, it's gonna be the same card every time, right? It's always gonna be the same card. And like I was trying to say earlier, there is a slight learning curve to using the gimmick. Is it worth your money? It is $40, $40. And really at the end of the day, you're getting a single gimmick and 22 minutes worth of instruction. So I would just make sure that this is the kind of trick that you want to perform. Please read other reviews. Go watch other channels who've uh, talked about this trick, people who've, people who've purchased it, have it for themselves, weigh the pros and cons, watch the trailer, and make sure this is the kind of trick that's gonna fit your character, right? Just because it's the latest and greatest doesn't mean you have to buy all of those tricks, right? You should always pick tricks that fit your character fit your style of magic. Hey, if I helped you out in any way, please do me a favor, hit like, subscribe, and follow. That really helps me out a lot. And big, huge thanks to penguinmagic.com for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, everybody, it's almost Christmas, and I want to remind you that the Christmas giveaway is coming up. Now, I don't want you to miss any of them because in December, there's five five massive giveaways totaling thousands of dollars. I have never given away this much magic. There's a huge box of card magic, a huge box of coin magic, a huge box of kids magic, a giant box of mentalism, and a box of tenio magic. So what do you need to do? You need to hit subscribe. I know you've never done it before. You're holding out. You don't subscribe to channels, but this is the time. This is the time. And then once the subscribe button is pushed, a little bell will appear. You want to click that because that's going to give you notifications. So the moment these contests drop, you will get a notification that says there's a new contest at Magic Orthodoxy. You can rush down over here and enter because you are not going to want to miss this epic event. Don't miss this. Like I said, huge, massive giveaway, thousands of dollars. I want everyone to have a wonderful, merry, blessed, filled Christmas. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you guys for supporting me and hanging out with me all year long. It's going to be a great year. Merry Christmas.